Hello? What's good? What's good? Is Dr. Phil? Yo. <laughs> Yo, right out the back, I got to ask you, I, why you come up with that name, Dr. Phil? Well, you know, it was given to me by a legendary coach out here in Butler Terrace, Alabama, oh. Coach Dennis. Oh, okay. So, you know what I'm saying? Okay. No, I ain't coach try- a lot of our community at the Boys and Girls Club. Shout out to Coach Dennis working hard. Okay. No, I ain't trying to be funny because that's all my wife watches, Dr. Phil. And I told her Dr. Phil going to be on the show. She thought it was the white dude. Uh, yeah, I get that a couple times. <laughs> Even on uh, a couple of little social networks, you know what I'm saying, they hit. But when they when they, when they they see who it is, they're like, oh, yeah, we rock with you too, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, all right. That's cool, though. That's cool. So um, where where was you born at, fam? Where where you from? I was born in Great Lakes, Illinois. Okay. Got out to the uh, Chirac. And oh. then we moved down to... Uh, Huntsville, Alabama. Shout out Redstone Arsenal. Okay. Okay. I grew up a little bit in Germany a little bit too. Shout out to everybody in Darmstadt, Germany listening. That might be listening. Follows Dr. Phil. Oh shit. Damn. So you um some of your family's in the military? Ah, uh, yes, sir. Okay. All right. That's what's Where are you based out of? This Baltimore. Oh, uh, Baltimore. Yeah, Baltimore. Maryland. Yeah, yeah. Why, why the accent or something? We got an accent too. Uh, I, I went uh, to Aberdeen, Maryland, not too long ago. Okay, you know what I'm saying? I like, I like Aberdeen. Oh, well, no, nah, that's not Baltimore City. <laughs> it's totally different. <laughs> totally different from the city. You gotta come down. You gotta come down to the city. Shout out to uh, Dylan Cash, Colossal Records Music Group too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Great management, oh, you know, love them guys. Okay, okay. So, um, how you, how you get your start? Well, I got my start initially. My sister, may she rest in peace, Elizabeth Carroll mm. Cobb. I was going to pick her up from Job Corps, uh-huh. and she told me she visioned me as a little rapper, but she just seen it on a big scale. Uh-huh. You know, kind of like Biggie Smalls to an extent. Okay. And that's that's where it started. I dropped my first video, my first song, Chef Boy Our Cocaine, and it's been rolling ever since. Okay. Okay. Uh that's produced. Go check that out if you're on YouTube. It's Dr. Phil featuring Mook. Chef Boy Yard produced by Zay Tovin. Shout out Zay Tiggy. Okay. Okay. That's what's up. Hey, um, what was your like your most memorable performance? What was the performance that stood out to you? Most memorable performance was my first show. I opened up for Gucci Man and Fat Cats in uh, Triana, Alabama. Uh-huh. Definitely my memory, my, my most favorite show, most exciting show. I always looked up the Goo Walk, and it was a good, you know, okay. experience rocking this stage with them. Okay. So where do you get your like your influence to write your music? Where where does that motivation, that creative motivation, come from? From life experience. It's what I didn't went through, what I'm going through, and I just try to put it in a way that you know the world might be able to feel me and maybe learn a little bit from it. Okay. Well, all right. So, um, what's the um, if you could give a um, a style to your to your music, how would you describe it? Hmm. Soul music. If I could go ahead and just kind of like a soul pop type of deal. Soul you pop. Know? Soul pop, because, you know, we we getting ready to hit them pop charts with this half man, half amazing joint. Uh huh. And, you know, soul, because I'm putting my heart and soul into it, you know. Okay. Yeah. Hey, it's like a lot of energy in your music. I'm trying to put, I'm putting my heart and soul into it. It got to be turnt. If it ain't turnt, <laughs> man, I don't know. You know, a lot of people like a little different, like country folks like sad stories about, you know, maybe life experience or something makes good country or blues songs about uh-huh. a, a moment that wasn't so good that had you feeling down. Yeah. But uh, when it comes to Dr. Phil, it's like, I enjoy living life. I understand that, you know, life is a blessing every second or every minute. 
and you know I displayed it with everything I do. I try to. Okay. I enjoy life. Yeah, and it is a blessing. Yeah, well, yeah, you right. You still right about that. So what what you think about the hip hop scene, and, um, independently and um, industry wise? What you think about it? Independently, we got to get out there and we got to keep pushing, man. Breaking down these doors, breaking down these barriers, and 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 putting out there and building the brands and doing what it takes to t- carry ourselves on as artists and make it to the industry. We are the industry. Mm-hmm. That's how you got to look at this thing. And as far as the industry goes, you know, everybody's on a trend thing like in yeah, the industry, true, I see. True. And just because it's a, a trend or fad doesn't mean it's good. Mm. But, you know, when you got money, power, and influence, the reach is a little bit vaster. Yeah. And, I, you know, just got to think about what we're doing out here, you know. Everybody's listening. Okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. In what ways... Has your your newest music changed from when you first started? I didn't get that. I said, in what ways has your newest music changed from when you first started doing um, music? I think just more so where I'm at in my life right now. You know, I got three kids, thir- two 13, a girl and a boy, and a girl nine, and, you know. Uh-huh. I'm 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 thinking about what they what they going through in life and where I where I'm at in life and what I'm trying to you know teach to them as well and just being mindful of all things. Okay. It's it's not it's not what you do it's how you do it, you do it at yeah. the end of the day. But it's like we all got to come over to the light at some point in our lives and try to help and reach and teach. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. You're right about that. Hey, um, who, who have you collabed with? And, and what's your process of collabing with an artist? Really, I like to collab with a lot of in-house artists, if you will. I'm on a record label, BT to Mob, BNT. Okay. And we do have an all-star roster. Make sure you check us out everywhere. And um, I'm more so, like, I do features and everything, but I'm working on this tour, my Half Man, Half Amaze, and tour i got a lot going on myself and as far as working on the features as far as locally it just got to make sense you know what i mean okay, okay. everybody got to be in willing to invest in their craft and you know put their best foot forward for success and take this music as more so a stepping stone to really change people's lives and elevate our lives as well yeah 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 that's right that's right. It gotta make sense. You right about that, though. No. Right about that, cause you don't want to be attached to some some bullshit or some shit that you don't represent you. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Uh, so, what would be your dream venue to to perform at? My dream venue is probably the way things looking, man. Like a little Tokyo, or mm. you know, demonstration or something like that. Not to say I got any, no offense to the U.S. Uh-huh. You know, I love, I'm proud of the U.S. and everything. But it'll probably be some type of little Tokyo venture or like that. Okay. A little tour in Tokyo, taking a half man, half amazing. On the Tokyo tour, maybe got like Lady Gaga or something on stage, Beyonce. We all do a song together or something. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, that, yeah that'd, be, that'd be dope right there. That'd be dope right there. So what skills, personal attributes are the most important to be successful, you think? You got to keep God first or your higher power first. You know, that's the most important. And then making sure you got all your 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 personal things in order as far as if you do have any children, you got to do right by your children with this thing. You can't just be... True living lavish and not taking care of your kids and think you're going to have success. Mm. Mm. So what you think the number one mistake that an independent artist make like off the break? Localizing themselves, man. You can't localize yourself and get caught up in what folks doing around you mm. because 
the world can be your oyster. You just got to plan, plot, strategize, and execute. Okay. Right. So, um, what's something like that you like learned in the beginning? You know, what I'm saying about about this whole whole music thing that I learned now that I didn't know in the beginning. Yeah. That doing a song with a major artist ain't gonna get you signed, or it ain't gonna. It might not even bring you any exposure if nobody sees it. You see what I'm saying? You gotta build yourself up as a brand yourself, and then go to the next level. You can't just think, "Hey, if I get on a song with Future or Gucci Man, it's gonna instantly make me a star just because they're a star." Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah, because a lot of artists th do think that because they pay for these features and, you know what I'm saying, astronomical type of money and then don't get nothing out of it, you know what I'm saying? And think the artist's going to be their best friend just because they did a song with them. I mean, exactly. it's all business it's business. at the it's, end of the game, so. it's, it's business, and, and, you know, that's one thing I'll be, talk I'll be telling me and my partner we talking about. Business doesn't have no feelings, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it's business, you know what I'm saying? It's it's. It's whatever was going to strategize and get you to that next level. You know what I'm saying? It's levels to this. It's levels to it. It ain't rocket science, though. Shout out 65 Connect. Uh, what'd you say? I said it's not rocket science, though. Shout out to 65 Connect. Oh, oh all right. Oh, all right. All right. Yeah. So um, where can we find, you, find your music at? I'm on every platform. Make sure you come cop my latest Chef Boyar. Um, got a lot of hits on that. Go to, uh, check out the little movie, the first interactive movie I dropped called Soft House S O F H O U S E. Uh -huh. Filmed by Daniel Tarantino. I got my new Half Man Half Amazing album getting ready to drop Christmas. I got a new mixtape, uh, Walking Drugs, so getting ready to drop Thanksgiving. So you just make sure you just stay tuned. Follow me, Dr. Phil, ENT, everywhere. Wow, you got any shout-outs or anything else you want? Um, I want to shout-out for you for giving me the opportunity <laughs> to come on your show. Oh, man. And all the listeners. Oh, man. It's all... Oh, man, it's it's the artists, man. It's like, yo, y'all take time out y'all day and y'all schedule call me. That's what's important. You know what I'm saying? That's y'all are important because that's what this platform is for you to expose the independent artists. You know what I'm saying? And for you, know, you know, to take time out your day to call me. You know, that's 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 big to me. I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? The grind never stops, baby. Yeah, I, I appreciate it. And one thing too, fam, I need a drop from you. If whenever you go in the studio, record me a drop and send it to me. You know what I'm saying? Need a drop for sure, so I can have you. I need to get on your latest. What what mixtapes you got coming out? I need to jump on a little mixtape. I got a hot dance record called "Get Them Bands" featuring Six Trey. Oh, okay. I'm saying, oh, that's in the future. We gonna start the Spotify shit and all that too. So yeah, I'll keep you in mind. I'll keep you in mind, most definitely. I'm I definitely need to get on as many playlists on Spotify as I can. Okay, yeah, because I most definitely I got to connect. Got my man Dylan, and also got the, got the number right here, so I can hit you up whenever. You know what I'm saying? And that's the, Shout that's out the Colossal Records. You know what I'm saying? That's the beauty of independent artists, man. It's like, you know what I'm saying? It's that, that intimacy that you have more than like with mainstream artists. You know what I'm saying? It's like we all on a come up. Like I'm an independent radio station on a come up. You know what I'm saying? And it's geared for independent artists like yourself. I appreciate it. Yeah. That's one love. I appreciate it too. And um track. The track they set then it wasn't it wasn't the, um the the track that you was talking about the title track get them bands that's that's what y'all sent there I think y'all sent I believe that might get this band I might I might I might have, have, have to look you know what I'm saying but um send me the um the mixtape when it um when it dropped most definitely for sure yeah send me the um mixtape when it dropped. Oh, man, I'm gonna have to, um, oh yeah, here we go, here we go. I don't think it's Get the Bands, though. Featuring, um, got a feature on there. 
Yeah, I think it's it was a feature. Now, uh, featuring six. Six trait. Let's get them bands. Hey, okay. All half right, man, right. half amazing. Oh, okay. All right, all Coming right. to a store near you okay. very soon. Okay. All right. Fam. Don't slip on the drip. <laughs> all right, fam. Thanks for calling in, man. I appreciate it, man. You taking time out your day and hit me up. We're going to get into your song, man. And um, this 101.7 WGNA, the music. And it's the GGI Morning Show with Ron. I just had um, my man Dr. Phil on here calling from down Alabama, right? For sure. Brother Tears. Okay. That's what's up, fam. Y'all um, y'all tuned into us. We great going into this song. Um, Get the bands. All right, fam. Commas, yeah, shot if she's stunning. Who says it's cheaper to keep her? You know that they lie. GSS, we got you. Hey, get that money, hold you playing. Puss it open, hold it, pan. They pan, homie got it, he the man. Salon, I swear it's about two times a week. For 150 for the nails, Drill. 250 for the feet, Splat. 300 for the bundles. Yeah, yeah, Shawty doing numbers. numbers. Shawty fucking up commas. Yeah, Shawty, she stunning. Mm -hmm. Who says it's cheaper to keep her? You know that they lying. They lying. When we dining out, the Andre never coming with fries. No fries. Roof press, melt the pie, carabas, baby, every time we slide. Every time, we slide. time is money, you ain't getting no money, you wasting your time. Hey, hey. Shawty stay with them bands. bands. Shawty say she got plans. You see her working at pole. Swinging inches, inches. Get bands on the top, bitches. Yeah. When she get up on that stage, she all about getting paid. She gon', she gon'. Do it for a real nigga. You ain't tipping, you in the way. We gon', we gon'. Bust a couple bottles on wings, smoking nothing but gas. And by the way, the shoulder shaking her ass. She probably leaving here with all of the cash. She was all up on the ball. She can see I'm getting on. She can see that Louis V on the kick. She know what it really costs. The mama really about a bag. Yeah. 
yeah. Hey, get that money, hoe you playing? Puss it open, hoe they paying? They paying? Homie got it, he the man. He the man. Get them bands, get them bands, get them bands. Know you sexy, know you about your hustle. If 